Hello and welcome to Ian's Bricks. I'm Ian and today I have an unboxing and a review of this fabulous set here. This is the Lego Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, this is set number 71374 uh, and it has 2,646 pieces so it's, uh, it's a little beauty. I've been wanting this ever since it uh, came out a few months ago but I was kind of waiting for the right time. I got it on double VIP points with a couple of free gifts as well. So uh, first things first, let's get into the box and see what's inside. So I have my trusty knife. There are luckily some tags on the side. One, two, three. And let's see what we actually get. Oh, bag's falling out already, look. Wow, okay. So we have, I think the best way to do this is to tip it onto the table without making a mess. Careful that doesn't go. Oh, there's the, there's the, the wire, the, the tube. Right. One more. So there's quite a few bags there and we've also got Oh, an extra box as well. So, okay, so what I'll do is I'll uh, get into this box and I'll uh, just rearrange all the bags and see what we've actually got. So here we have all of the bags laid out. So there are a total of 21 uh, numbered bags, although there are sort of two or three bags per number for some of them. Uh, but some of them only have one, so there's uh, one through to eight there. Um, and then we have uh, 9, to, 9 to 15, 16 through to 20, 21, 21 is the last one, uh, and we also have a, a square plate, and we have a couple of uh, these um, tubes as well, which I think go for, for wires and aerials and things like that. So that's a lot of Lego bags, uh, so I'll show, you the, um, I'll show you the instructions as well. So here we have the instruction booklets uh, and the stickers, so you get two instruction booklets, uh, one for the uh, computer games console, the Nintendo itself, and, uh, and the, obviously the cartridge and the, um, and the game controller, and a separate one for the TV. I'm probably going to be building the TV first, uh, just because I think that's probably the more interesting of builds. Uh, and then you get uh, the sticker sheet here, which has only got two stickers on, one which is a, a label that goes on the back of the, um, uh, back of the TV, which has got some quite interesting... <laughs> little things on there, I was trying to read some of it there, manufactured in Japan, so it's kind of just made to look sort of quite authentic, and there's the actual sticker which goes on the game cartridge as well, so nice that it's only got a couple of stickers in there, um, so um, okay, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to start building this, and uh, so let's uh, go to the next slide which should show the uh, what it looks like completed. So here we have the completed model and I have to say it's uh, probably my favourite ever build uh, that I've ever done with Lego, especially the TV set. So although it's the Nintendo Entertainment System, this in itself and the, 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 the game machine, the controller and the cartridge are pretty good, pretty good fun to put together. But I have to say the TV uh, is just uh, absolutely outstanding in my opinion. Absolutely love it. Um, so, um, so yeah, so it took me, I built it over the last couple of days, I didn't sort of rush to do it, I sort of really enjoyed the build, um, and I'll give you, uh, give you a close-up now of all the different features and all the different elements to the set. So first of all we have the uh, game cartridge, uh, so this is a pretty good replica of the, uh, the actual thing, obviously it's Lego built on the back but the top of it is all sort of smooth. Uh, these are two stickers, there are only three stickers in the entire set. I think the reason why this is a sticker is, well the, there were stickers on the games to start with so why wouldn't there be a sticker? But also the I think these 6x6 six six, um, plates that they use uh, they have sort of a little a little mark in the middle of them. I think putting stick, making them printer pieces will be difficult. But anyway, really, really like how this looks. It's the right size, and you can even see inside that there's a green colour. Uh, you always used to sort of see, obviously, these have the little gold elements along the side as well. Uh, and of course, it always said that don't blow into that, but everybody always used to before they put the cartridge into the machine. Uh, so I think this looks pretty good. And here we have the game controller. 
Uh, again, this looks pretty spot on. Um, what I really, really like about this is all the printed uh, tiles that you get. These are all printed pieces here, all the way sort of around the uh, little control panel. Uh, you've got the start select, which is uh, printed as well. There's these two weird little pieces here, which I've never seen before. Very, very unusual. And there probably are in other sets, but I don't collect all the sets. And they have two A and B buttons there. Again, the A and the B and the Nintendo are all printed pieces. Uh, from the back side, you can obviously see that it's uh, it's fairly standard. And you've got the, the rubbery white. It's very rubbery, and it kind of does get a lot of dust. It's very sticky, actually, this, uh, this wire very unusual and at the end of it you've got the little oops <laughs> got the little plug socket here which is a, a built piece as well and that just front fits into the front of the machine so I'll show you how that works so on the front of the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System is port 1 and port 2 you do obviously only get one controller with this um, but literally it's just a case of and it does actually fit in you just pop it in there uh, and it's fairly loose, but it does it does stay in reasonably well. Uh, and you, again, this is a printed piece here, uh, one and two on there, so absolutely fantastic. So let me show you the rest of the actual uh, entertainment system. So here is the Nintendo Entertainment System itself. It's actually a little bit smaller uh, in Lego form than it was in real life. I don't have a, a real life one to show you uh, to compare, but I have seen other videos on YouTube that sort of show that. I was never actually that into Nintendo. Um, I used to have a little handheld game thing, uh, uh, that I used to have, uh, but um, a little electronic game. But the actual, I was more into Sega in the sort of early 90s than than, um, than I was uh, Nintendo. But this still looks great. And on the front of it, you have, I've already shown you the ports here with a one and two. Uh, you have a little, and it, all these are printed tiles, Nintendo Entertainment System, and you've got the power and the reset button there. If I just show you around the side, you also have the audio and video scarts or plugs there, which look fantastic. Uh, around the other side, the back, you've got the uh, where would I suppose be the the power cable uh, outlets as well. Just, just the thought that's sort of gone into all of this to get all these sort of features in there. Um, and on the other side as well, it's just fairly standard, just with a with a little bit missing at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, it looks really really good. But what you can do with this is you can open this up and. Put the game cartridge in which i think is a fabulous feature and you can pop that in there and squeeze it down like that and close it as if you were going to play the game which is absolutely amazing now the only issue i have with that is that the mechanism inside for this it just doesn't really work it was quite weird um when i uh, when i built it right right at the start and i'll show you the workings in a bit it kind of worked really well but as i sort of built up around it it just just didn't work and stopped working and i have sort of read reviews and that on um other channels and internet and things and there are a few people that do have a similar problem so i don't know whether i'm going to have to rebuild it or, or what but it's slightly annoying that it doesn't it should pop up but it doesn't unfortunately um so anyway we'll see we'll see if i can get this going i'll take the top off and sort of show you what what it all looks like inside so this is the cartridge here which is supposed to be able to put down and click in but it's all sort of it's all reliant on this little piece here which just doesn't seem to want to go into place you have to push it up again to get it to click then push it down again and it just doesn't want to work it, do, it does come back up again if you force it and i have had a sort of a real good look it's very sort of simple just a couple of little sort of pieces underneath that it's very difficult i won't have to take the whole thing apart really to be able to to get into it it is spring loaded as well as you can see that spring on there but yeah it just doesn't want to work you sort of almost have to push it down uh comes up it needs to click in into place it's not going to do it click and then push it down again and then it springs up and then that's supposed to then slide down and and that's how it kind of works uh, so yeah if anybody else has had a similar problem let me know how you fixed it because it's really really annoying me um there is one other fantastic feature uh within this particular set here so if i just sort of show you the uh, how that goes on there's a root the lid there which literally just slots in place that's pretty straightforward and then you've got the door here which is just on a couple of hooks and you can just pop that back in so it all fits together really really nicely and on this side of the machine is a little secret 
Now I'm not really into particularly Mario itself, uh, but this is apparently uh, in reference to uh, some kind of one of the levels of the old game. Uh, I apologise, I don't know the name of the level, but yeah, really, really nice how they kind of incorporated this into this little spare space that they had at the top. Um, so yeah, very, very, lots of nice features on this. So just a shame that the mechanism doesn't work on the actual um, Nintendo itself. Uh, now let's show you the actual television, which is, in my opinion, the best part. So here we have the television uh, part of the build. Um, this absolutely looks fantastic. Now I have to say when Mario was, uh, the Nintendo NES was out, which I think was early 80s, I have to say TVs probably looked a little bit more modern than this one. Certainly the one I bought in 1984 was a lot more sort of silvery uh, rather than this sort of uh, woody sort of effect. But never mind, I think it still looks pretty good and pretty retro. So much to talk about about this. Obviously, um, you have the screen here on the front with a little Mario here. This is just sort of attached on a fairly simple sort of loose thing here. So he can, I'll show you how it works in a moment. This is obviously a printed piece. This is exclusive to the set. Uh, and you also have lots of these little, little pieces as well. Um, the screen itself was ingenious, sort of how it goes together. Again, I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but putting all the tiles on was a little bit mundane and, and repetitive, but uh, that was really the only thing. But once it was together, it was fabulous. On the front, you have what's uh, where the sound would have come out, the TV, the sort of the speaker, which is just lots of one by one tiles reversed. And then here again, loads of printed pieces. You have the low tech sign there, which is a, a little bit of fun there that they've used. There used to be a, a brand in the in the 80s called High Tech, I think. Um, certainly the shoes are called High Tech. Or anyway, the, and they have the channel thing here. They have a U, VHF UVF here. Uh, the, this is a printed piece here on the dial. You have the volume, the brightness, and the contrast. All these are printed pieces. Um, these uh, these these do move round and round, but they're just kind of loose loose sort of pieces like that, which is um, yeah quite quite effective how it works. But this is great, uh, and this actually makes a noise when you turn it, like old TV dials. Because quite often in old TVs, you used to have to actually search for the channel rather than actual <laughs> actual um, actually uh, uh, press a button on there. So. And that's just a piece of plastic, a rubber, rubbery plastic behind, which, which you can make that clicking noise of. So that's fabulous. Now, on the side of the TV is a, a little handle. And when you turn the TV, or when you turn the handle even, you can make the whole screen move uh, and basically play the game. Um, this, is, this is amazing. Again, lots of printed pieces on here. These pieces here are both printed. Uh, and you have all the little, a little, little, I don't know what they're all called, so apologies, but yeah, it's just great how it kind of works, and it's just so simple, it's so smooth as well. Um, so anyway, we'll show you the internal bits in a bit, but if I just sort of go around the rest of the TV, um, so you can see it, so you have, the here's the handle there, which I've just talked about, but even the back of the TV look. TV looks absolutely amazing. You have this sticker on here, which is sort of what TVs used to have. This big sort of bit at the back sticking out where the, the tube used to be held in the TV. You've got a, a socket here. You've got some holes in the TV. You've got yellow and red piece here for the and an aerial socket as well. It's just so much, uh, so much sort of thought has gone into the whole thing. And you even get an aerial on top, which you can, which you can move up as well, which is, uh, which is great. I'll just pop that on there um, and there's just the other side there which has kind of got nothing particularly so looks absolutely fabulous the stand that it's on uh, is actually quite clever that's just built upside down so it should go that way um, and but it, it turns the other way and there's just a couple if I show you the underneath of the TV uh, the few sort of random colors there there's some of the mechanism for the uh, the cogs for the working system but you just have these two two pieces here which sort of slot in slot into the uh, into the actual uh, stand okay so let's take the top off this and I'll show you uh, how it looks inside so this is what it looks like with all the top removed now as you can see we do have a, a little um, scan code here if you have one of the uh, actual Mario pieces itself uh, which goes around the uh, round the sort of um, sort of starter kit that I think you can buy from the thing called the starter kit um, he will sort of flash and make noises and so as you turn the handle 
as you can see, these colours come by here and that makes the electronic Mario make noises. Now, the problem with that is you have to basically spend £50 <laughs> to get um, to, to get this particular thing. My local Tesco has got them at 37 50 at the moment, so I might be tempted, but it's a lot of money sort of just to make the, the, the noises. So I haven't bothered with that just because I'm not, not interested in the actual Mario sets themselves. But you can see how it works. All of these... Um, they're kind of on on treads that sort of go round, and all the pieces that are sort of attached to it there. But it just runs really, really smoothly. It's very, very clever how it's done. Uh, and what I can do as well is I can take this whole thing out and sort of show you what it looks like. So I've taken off some of the other pieces here. This should just come straight out. He says. There we go. I need to leave that in there. Anyway, that's fine. That's come out, but that's okay. Um, and then I should be able just to take the whole thing out. It should just come out fairly straightforward. There we go. And there we have it. That's what it actually looks like. So let me just zoom out a little bit. So you can just see it's just it's just sort of on a very clever how it works. It's just on a concertina system. Well, on some some treads here, and the whole thing just moves. It all kind of stays together pretty well. You can see the internal workings. Very, very clever how it all goes together. So yeah, this is this sort of bit here is sort of my favorite bit. And what you will see as well inside the actual machine as well, if I just sort of show you there, when I turn the cogs, you can see all the cogs turning uh, sort of generally down this area down here, uh, how that actually works. Loads of different colors, as you can see, within the actual build. Lego seem to do this quite a lot these days, where, where obviously the external colours, sort of browns and, and greys and blacks, but all the internal colours are really, really bright. Um, I think it just makes it easier, A, when you're building, and B, gives you sort of an option of different colours and things. So yeah, really, really like, really, really like this bit here. This was probably my favourite part of any build I've ever done ever in Lego. Uh, absolutely amazing. It did take a while, I'd say, to put all these tiles on individually. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Love it. Anyway, let's put the whole thing back together again and do my final thoughts. Oh, and before I do that, just show you the extra pieces as well. So um, usual sort of plethora of small little extra pieces here, because what you do get is you get one each of all of the printed tiles. I got two of these as well. Uh, these are absolutely amazing. I think these uh, <laughs> these are probably, with the, these printed pieces here, are probably some of the best um, best extra pieces that you get in any Lego set. Uh, the rest of them are lots and lots sort of single one by one tiles and things like that, which is sort of fairly standard. But these are great. I think my favourite one is probably the little star there it's probably got a name I apologize if I don't know it so yeah absolutely absolutely great little uh, little extra pieces that you get there as well so here we have everything back together again uh, absolutely love this set if you don't already own it and you're really into Lego uh, yes it's a little bit pricey in the UK it's 210 pounds uh, a little bit more expensive in the US and uh, uh, in, in euros, it's sort of 230 something like that, so, but definitely worth getting. Uh, it's a really fun build, I really enjoyed it. A uh, little shame that the mechanism doesn't work for the uh, for the game cartridge, it's only a small niggle though, it's not a huge thing, and I'm sure I can probably get it fixed somehow, uh, but really, really loved this. So this will be going taking pride of place in my uh, storage unit behind once I get it all finished off. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really like this. So um, if you like this video, uh, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Please take care. See you soon.